Hi, this is Amy Liebman with Potter Electric Signal. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to run the Learn function from the keypad of the PFC 6000 series panel. The Learn function is an efficient way to automatically configure all system devices, either on initial startup of a system or when adding or removing devices. The Learn function detects all connected devices, assigns a name, and selects the applicable device type, whether it's a module, a sensor, or a P-Link device. The Learn function will also determine if there have been any device type changes, such as changing a smoke to a heat detector. It will also determine if there have been any devices removed from the system. If running the Learn function after the initial startup to add or remove devices, no existing programming is lost. When the Learn function is accepted, the system is configured in a basic fire protection system, where all inputs and outputs are in a one-to-one -one relationship. To better understand this one-to-one -one relationship, we first need to look at the initial default characteristics of all of the devices found during the learn process. The circuits labeled as NAC on the PFC 6000 series panels and the PSN 1000 power supply are initially configured as NAC general purpose. The circuits labeled as IO on the PFC 6000 series panels are initially configured as NAC general purpose also. The two dry contact inputs on the PSN 1000 power supply are initially configured as input pull station. The MCM, SCM, and DCM are all configured as input pull station during the initial learn process. The PSA is configured as a photo. The PSHA is configured as a photo heat. The initial smoke sensitivity for these smoke detectors is 3.5%. The FHA is configured as heat fixed, and the RHA is configured as heat combo. The initial alarm threshold for these heat detectors is 135 degrees Fahrenheit. The TRM module is initially configured as a relay general purpose. The MOM4 is initially configured as a NAC general purpose device. These are the default initial characteristics when running a learn from the panel. These characteristics can be altered using the upload and download software for the panel. Now we know the initial device characteristics, we can talk about the default system configuration after running a LEARN. Initially, all inputs, the MCM, SCM, DCM, PSA, PSHA, FHA, RHA, and the dry contact inputs on the PSN 1000, when activated, will trigger all outputs, the TRM, the MOM, the onboard NACs, and the onboard I.O. circuits. All of these devices are all initially assigned to Zone 1. If anything is changed from the above characteristics using the upload and download software, on subsequent learns, all of those changes will remain. On subsequent learns, when new devices are added, they will be assigned to Zone 1 and will activate any outputs assigned to that zone. In this video, I will be using a PFC 6800 to demonstrate the learn function. All the menu options you see me using today are the same for all of the PFC 6000 series panels. Once you have addressed all your devices, connect them to the SLC or the P-Link bus. Once you've made that connection, you will get several troubles from your SLC devices. They should be indicated by an extra device. You should get the same number of troubles on your SLC as you have devices installed in the field. You are now ready to run a learn. Press enter to get into the main menu. In the main menu, press option 6, programming. You are then asked to enter a code. The default code from the factory is four ones. Once in the programming menu, select option 1, learn mode. Learn mode is looking for all connected devices on the SLC and the P-Link bus. Once it is done, we can review it before accepting it. To review results, select which option you'd like to see. In this case, I'll select 1, P-Link found. It found two devices, and I can hit the down arrow to see that it was an LCD and a power supply. Going through each option, it will tell you how many points were found, points removed, or points changed. Once you are done reviewing, press the Escape key to get back to the programming menu. From the programming menu, press Escape again. It'll then ask you to press 1 to save or 2 to discard. I'm going to save my changes and press enter to accept and the system will restart. When the system restarts, the system will be normal. Again, it has created a one-to-one -one relationship with all my inputs and all my outputs working together. If you are working with a PFC 6030 or a PFC 6075, all the menu options are the same. 
The Enter key drives you into the main menu. The up and down arrows allow you to scroll through the options. If you know your menu option number, you can just select that and it will drive you into that menu. With any PFC 6000 series panels, once you are done running the Learn, you can use the Upload and Download software to customize the program to meet your installation needs. The Upload and Download software can be found on our website, www.pottersignal.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us at 1-866-956-1211. And again, check out our website, www.pottersignal.com, for more information.